We describe a technique to instrument the physical world to make it into a self-describing wireless data source in which objects can communicate their identity, geometry, and user annotation. Using a handheld projector, we provide a user interface to these self-describing objects. Here is a demonstration of our system in an example application. A manager interested in performing inventory maintenance approaches a collection of products in his warehouse. Using a handheld projector, we provide a user interface for locating and extracting information from tagged objects. Only tags within the projector beam will respond to the inquiry. Using the handheld projector, he selects a subset of the tags and annotates them with specific disposal instructions. Later, an employee arrives in the warehouse and uses a handheld projector to identify the products and retrieve the electronic annotations left by the manager. The motivating technology for our research is RFID, already employed in many commercial systems such as access control, toll booths, animal tracking, packaging, and baggage handling. Shown here is our current prototype active photosensitive RF tag. The tag includes a communication antenna and a photosensor. A projector is augmented with laser pointers, a camera, mouse buttons, and inertial sensors to enable stabilization and interaction. One of the basic functions of this system is the ability to locate tags by projecting temporal gray-coded binary patterns. This allows the tags to self-discover their location. Image stabilization, shown here for a moving projector, is critical for handheld projectors. We have also implemented stabilizing the image to world features, which additionally enables the use of the projector as a mouse. For comparison, we show the projected images for a non-stabilized projector. Our stabilized projector also supports a copy-paste application. The user can specify a rectangular area by clicking two corners. A simple matching algorithm selects the rectangular area from the captured image. Note that size and orientation are maintained during interaction. Here is an example of using some of these techniques in combination. A repairman needs to collect data from an inconveniently located routing panel. Note that the panel has no clean surfaces that would accommodate projection. Using a handheld projector, he locates the tags embedded within the panel, providing him with location-specific sensor data. He also acquires an image of the complex panel in a more convenient location and on a more accommodating surface for projection, he can review the captured image properly annotated with the sensor data. By combining the location data from multiple tags, we perform several types of geometric processes. Here, we recover 3D coordinates for the tags. We determine which projector pixel illuminates a tag and simultaneously which camera pixel views the tag. We then triangulate to find the 3D location. We can group uninitialized tags according to which object they belong to by observing coherent rigid motion. We segment displacement between corresponding tags from two views using an affinity matrix. Large values in the eigenvector of the matrix then provide us with cluster information for the dominant group. We are able to detect deformation in a set of tags. By analyzing pre-deformation 3D coordinates with new coordinates, the resulting perturbations in pose can classify tags either as inliers or outliers. The outliers in this case are the deformed tags. We can project distortion-free local surface textures onto tagged objects. Camera and projector pose relative to the tags can be determined from the tag's 3D coordinate frame and the calibrated camera projector pair. Surface facets defined by the tags are then back projected into the camera image and we use a homography to rectify the texture to a front to parallel view. Though our prototypes are bulky, we anticipate that future prototypes will be lightweight. This tiny handheld prototype projector is capable of interacting with tags up to a 30 centimeter range. Our system allows a user to interact with self-describing objects using RF and light communication to provide a novel type of user interface. The work demonstrates a way in which the new technology of RFID can be brought into the realm of computer graphics and computer vision.